On Monday, CNN analyst Margaret Hoover hammered Senator Ted Cruz of Texas for saying that the Supreme Court should now move to roll back marriage rights for LGBTQ Americans. Cruz recently said that the landmark case establishing nationwide LGBTQ marriage rights was, quote, clearly wrong because marriage was always an issue that was left to the states. Obergefell, like Roe versus Wade, ignored two centuries of our nation's history. Marriage was always an issue that was left to the states. In Obergefell, the court said, no, we know better than you guys do. And now every state must uh, m must sanction and, and permit gay marriage. Um, I think that decision was clearly wrong when it was decided. Um, it was the court overreaching. Let's just be reminded that Ted Cruz is pandering, not just to the base of the Republican Party, but to the worst kind of bigotry in the Republican Party. And what we know is the Texas GOP has just passed this plank saying that being gay is abnormal. And so if you're part of the Republican Party in Texas, you subscribe to this notion that being gay is abnormal now. You know that Clarence Thomas has said in the Supreme Court decision overturning Do uh, Roe in Dobbs that we should re-examine re previous precedents. Of course, Clarence Thomas didn't suggest we should re-examine Loving v. Virginia, which the Obergefell decision is based on, which argues that marriage is a fundamental right. Of course, the Loving v. Virginia decision is about interracial marriage, of which Clarence Thomas benefits from that law and that reading of the Constitution. So all of this is circular inanity and pandering to the bigots. But the state's rights argument has been used since the birth of our nation to deprive Americans of fundamental freedoms. Most notably after the Civil War, southern states including Mississippi, South Carolina, and Louisiana adopted new state constitutions designed to suppress the black vote. Leaders invoked states' rights to enact Jim Crow era laws to deprive black Americans of equality. Cruz is not the first Republican senator to push back against the Supreme Court's past ruling in the 2015 Obergefell v. Hodges landmark case that established the right to same-sex marriage. In May, the Business Insider reported that Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri told reporters that he believed Obergefell was wrongly decided, but said he believed that it was settled law and that he would be shocked if it were overturned. Justice Clarence Thomas wrote in his concurring opinion overturning Roe v. Wade that the court should reconsider cases recognizing same-sex marriage, the constitutional right to birth control, and a prohibition on state laws that criminalize consensual sex between same-sex individuals. This kind of language is exactly what advocates for reproductive and LGBTQ rights have been warning Americans of. Defenders of the right to abortion have repeatedly cautioned that if Roe fell, the right to contraception and same-sex marriage could be next. One thing is certain, when rights are left to the state courts to decide, we have an even more divided nation. Thank you for watching Raw Story TV. Please be sure to check out the headlines at rawstory.com. Stay informed and tap below to take action by liking, subscribing, and joining all those who like their news raw.